Could the honeybee be an accident? The answer is next on today's Creation Moment. And now, here's our Creation Moments host, Ian Taylor. One of the reasons many scientists don't accept evolution is that it is impossible to explain even the simplest of the incredible designs we find in creation as the work of a mindless, impersonal force. Imagine the challenge of explaining the many specialized features of the honeybee as the work of no one. The honeybee has compound eyes which enable him to navigate by the sun, even on cloudy days, because it has a built-in polarized light filter. The antenna of the honeybee contain both his sense of smell and his sense of touch. For this reason, they must be carefully cleaned. So the honeybee has special grooves in his front legs, which are perfectly designed to clean them. The honeybee also has hairs on his body to collect pollen and baskets on his rear legs to carry it. He also has special glands for producing, shaping and cleaning off wax. When he returns home with news of a good pollen source, the honeybee has a language which he can use to tell others about it. Not only is the honeybee a huge collection of special features united together, but he also lives in a hive which unites thousands of individuals so that they all work together like a single organism. It simply goes against everything we know from science to suppose that millions of years of unplanned accidents could design and build the honeybee. To get a complete set of transcripts from Creation Moments programs, ask about the book, Letting God Create Your Day, when you visit us online at creationmoments.com. And join us again for another Creation Moment, proclaiming evidence of God's truth.